Printing in Python is pretty straightforward. All you need is the print command, parentheses, and double quotes. What you want to print is put in between the double quotes. So here I've printed hello world. I've got the print command, parentheses, and double quotes. Now, it is important to note how these things are put together. So the command name right here, this is called our function name. And it is really similar to what you've probably already used before in math, where we've used functions such as sine and cosine immediately after it are parentheses, like pi divided by 4. So we've used sine, we've used cosine, and other mathematical functions. Inside of computer programming, it's the same way. We've got a name of a function, which in this case is print rather than sine, and after it, we follow it with parentheses and any data we need to give that function. In this case, we are giving the sine function inside of math, pi over 4. Here, we're giving it the data of what we actually want to print out inside of the parentheses. So it really isn't any different than what we've done before in math, but we're giving it not just numbers, but we can also give it text, for example. If you go ahead and inside of the Python idle prompt, type in print hello world and hit enter, it'll go ahead and print exactly what you stated. Anything that you put inside those quotes, it'll print out. Now, I'm going to do this line again. I'm going to take my arrow keys and go up two lines, hit enter, and it copies what I just typed back into the command so that I can change it. So if instead I were going to put in that because if I say Python is fun to learn a whole bunch of times and maybe I'll just start to believe it the computer will happily print whatever I want. Now why are these quotes so important? Well I could put in a mathematical expression 2 plus 3 and if I have quotes around it, the computer will print out exactly what I've typed in, just like before. Hello world, Python is fun to learn, the computer just printed out exactly that. If I put in 2 plus 3, the computer does not print out 5, it actually puts in 2 plus 3. Now if I were to go up here with the arrow key a couple times, hit enter, and then edit this line and take out the quotes, without the quotes the computer will consider this to be a mathematical equation and then if I hit enter, it'll give me 5 back. So I can do this with any type of math. For instance, that'll give me 11. And I can put those math equations inside of a print statement. Now, what I can't do is the following. What's different about this equation compared to before? Well, before, I didn't have the ability, I didn't have these quotes in the time that I'm working with right now. So I had quotes before, here, no quotes, right? Well, this isn't going to work for the computer because remember, if there are no quotes, it's going to consider it to be a mathematical equation. And what kind of equation is this? The computer doesn't know, I don't know, and so it's going to complain. If I hit enter, it's going to say invalid syntax. Now granted, that isn't the best error message to give you an idea of what to do, but what it's saying is it has no idea what the syntax of this particular mathematical equation is because it's not a math equation. So it's really easy for people to get confused when they want to print whether or not they should use quotes. So remember, if you've got quotes, it's going to print out exactly what you've typed. If you don't have quotes, it'll consider it to be a mathematical equation. You can actually combine these together like with the following. Now in this particular case, note what we've done. We've got a comma right here. This allows us to list several different things to print out. I've got my text, and the text is in quotes and this is not in quotes so it will treat it as a math equation and the comma is necessary between the two so the computer knows I've got two different things here that it needs to work with this is number one this is number two 
when I hit enter, the computer is going to go ahead and say the answer to 10 plus 10 is 20. If I modify this a bit, if I don't have a comma in here, the computer sees two different things and has no idea what to do with the second item. It doesn't know that you're just giving it a list of two items that you want to print. So the comma is necessary. If I were to put quotes around the 10 plus 10, note that it will not only print out the original item right here, it'll also print out the second item. So this second item right here, because it's inside of quotes, is not considered a math equation, and it goes ahead and prints out. There is a space right in here that it'll automatically add in. Uh, later on, we'll figure out how to get rid of that, but that's beyond the scope of what we're talking about right here. This shows you a little bit on how to print things out inside of Python. One other thing we'll um, talk about before we go is where exactly these commas go. This is one of the more common mistakes. In this case, this line right here is really similar to something we've already done. You've seen this line and you've also seen this line. Note that the quote right here is outside of the double quotes. Because it's outside the double quotes, you're telling the computer basically print this stuff inside the double quotes. Next, comma, print 10 plus 10. Here I'm telling the computer print what's inside the double quotes and it's going to consider the comma as part of the double quotes. And then you tell it 10 plus 10 and it has no idea what to do about the 10 plus 10. It really needs that comma to separate the fact that you are printing item number one and item number two. Without that comma, the computer's not going to know what to do. So I could go ahead and stick yet another comma in here outside of the quotes and it will go ahead and print the answer to 10 plus 10 is comma and the comma because it's in here in the quotes 20.